Welcome to the MIAA Student Athlete Spotlight video. Today I am interviewing Olivet College senior men's lacrosse player, Colin Hessler. Colin, what made you decide to attend Olivet College? Uh, a couple big things really brought me here. Um, one, uh, I kind of had a good relationship with the coach uh, at the time, Adam Haig. Um, he kind of, we were talking and it just seemed like he would be a good fit for me to come and play uh, collegiate lacrosse for. Um, it had a lot of awesome opportunities for education. Uh, it, my brother ended up coming here as well. Um, so it was just kind of a, a, lot, of, a lot of different things that uh, applied and that seemed would be a good fit for me. So we decided to make the commitment and come to all of that. And what has it meant to you to be an NCAA Division III student athlete? Um, it's, it's meant a lot. Uh, being a student athlete, it's a really cool, really unique opportunity to be able to uh, play a collegiate sport and pursue higher education um, and I think that's that's pretty much the big thing is just being able to continue uh, playing a sport that I enjoy playing. And then you're an environmental science major. Is there anything that stands out from your time spent in the classroom? Uh, yeah, I mean I've had a lot of great professors, a lot of great opportunities. Um, you know, it's always great seeing Dr. Wilterding in a class throwing markers around um, or Leah, Dr. Knapp bringing in, um, you know, different animals that we have within our department. Uh, it's just kind of cool and unique, uh, really individualized learning that is probably one of the biggest, biggest components of being in the classroom here. And then, then Colin, how are you able to balance your time with being a student and then also being an athlete? Uh, the biggest thing is just setting priorities straight, um, knowing, you know, I have homework assignments or projects that I have to get done, uh, and then kind of just knowing your practice schedule, knowing when your games are coming up, and just working around those things. Uh, you know, some long times in the library, um, different, different times like that. Um, just using every opportunity and every moment um, to pursue the education and to be able to pursue um, a sport. And then you spent your summer in Alaska. You told me off camera it was more of a summer job, exciting thing to do, flying, whatnot. So talk a little bit about that experience and what led you all the way out to Alaska. Um, it was a lot of luck that got me up there. Uh, you know, I was working with our internship coordinator and she showed me to a seasonal job board. Um, I just blasted out a bunch of uh, applications um, and, you know, they gave me a call. Uh, and a lot of support from my family. Um, you know, I was talking with my, both of my parents about it, um, and they really supported me and um, wanted me to pursue that opportunity. And so, you know, I took the job, and it seemed like it was a good fit, and it was, you know, probably one of the greatest experiences of my life, being able to go up there, meet a lot of new people, uh, and just be a part of a great community that was up there. I made a lot of awesome new friends uh, during my three months up there. Let's talk a little bit about what you did. So I worked for a flight seeing service. Um, I worked on the ramp, so I spent a lot of time underneath um, smaller airplanes, cleaning airplanes, loading airplanes. Um, we'd take climbers up to base camp for Denali, um, to, so they would climb Denali. Um, you know, so I was kind of the behind the scenes people for um, this flight seeing service. Um, and it was, it, like I said, it was a really cool opportunity. I made a lot of great connections within the aviation world. Um, you know, we had a lot of really awesome expert pilots who, you know, I'm really honored to be able to call my friends and people who I've been able to get acquainted with. Now let's talk a little bit about lacrosse. Last three years, you played alongside your brother. This year, he won't be there. But so first, what was it like playing with your brother for three years? But now, second, what will it be? How different will it be? You know, playing with uh, Chuck was one of the big reasons why I wanted to come to Olivet. Um, he was a huge part in my choosing to pursue my higher education, where I was gonna pursue my higher education. Um, when I found out he was coming to Olivet, um, it was basically like every piece of the puzzle was, you know, it, it fit all together. So I got to come and play three years with um, probably hands down one of the best lacrosse players I've ever had the privilege of stepping on the field with. Um, you know, we've played together since we were in middle school. I knew everything he wanted to do and he knew everything I wanted to do. Um, so it was just good having that connection with somebody and being able to, to play on a field and you know, continue to be able to do something that there's not a lot of people that can say they played you know, three years of a collegiate sport with their brother. So um, he's gonna be greatly missed this year. He was a, a force to be reckoned with 
um, up at up in the LSM position. Um, and like I said, you know, he was one of the hands down greatest lacrosse players I've I've had the privilege of stepping on the field with. Um, so it, it's gonna gonna be different not having him out there. Um, hopefully, I'm able to you know pursue and continue to play like I know Chuck would want me to play. Um, and so. It'll just be really different. It'll it'll just be getting used to new guys and getting used to tendencies of new guys and how everybody wants to play. And season starts this week for your senior season, final season. Team has had a lot of success this year. What are you most looking forward to this year? Uh, I'm really excited to see the growth with a lot of our new guys. Um, we're a little bit younger of a team this year. Uh, so I'm really excited to see how a lot of our new guys grow and a lot of, how a lot of our new guys um, get used to playing a collegiate sport, um, getting used to the speed and how, how they all play and being able to develop some relationships with them and um, just some more, some more time out on the field and you know, just trying to make the most of, most of every opportunity that I can this year. And then, got to have a favorite memory. So what's your favorite memory from playing? Oh, you know, every, every time with all the guys the last few years has been great. Um, probably my favorite lacrosse memory though had to be um, the Hope game last year. Um, we beat them in overtime, uh, and it was it was a pretty awesome game. It just really showed, you know, the the drive of our team and the ability that we were able to play at, and you know, all those guys that I, I now call basically my family. Um, it was just it was a highlight for my career and hopefully their careers as well. And then last question: Are you glad you chose Division Three? Yeah, um, Division Three gave me an awesome chance for individualized education and to be able to pursue a um, extra four years playing a sport that I love. Um, being able to have that dream and you know being able to you know kind of joke around with dad and say, "Hey, dad, I I played co a collegiate sport too," and being able to joke around with my brother and my mom and you know being able to have this opportunity to play is really just um, a, quite just a blessing, to be honest with you. Okay, thanks Colin, and good luck this season. Thanks a lot, Jeff.